Hey guys, so what's everyone? It's Melody. Happy Sunday. Happy weekend. So I really feel cool to ask the spirit guys right now. What do you need to hear today? Whether you're asking about a love, career, anything you need to know, your spiritual soul path, your spiritual journey, or anything you need to hear advice from universe and spirit guys. And I tried to go live, but I had problem with the orientation because I wanted to have this kind of orientation, like a wider angle, but it, it's trying to make me like do um, horizontal, I think it's horizontal. Uh, anyway, it don't matter now because at least the sound is okay. The audio has no more problems because I already upgraded my phone. So for my previous videos, if the sound is cutting in because it was an old phone so let's go ask the spirit guys what do you need to to know whether any thing that you need to know in your life love career spiritual journey i wanted to ask because i uh, set the intentions and pre-shuffled a lot of energies we have tea cards we have oracles we have messages from from somebody if you are really curious what they want to tell you if if it's a future spouse or soulmate or something like that pile one wisdom pile two higher self pile three energy actually pile one intuition pile two higher self pile three energy pick your choices Calling on my spirit guides, my guardian angel, the assistance of the higher power and the spirit of the universe. As we're going to channel messages, possible energies, advice for those who's going to pick pile intuition, higher self and energy. Spirit guides, what do we need to know? What is coming towards us? Anything that we need to know about love, career, sense of direction, spiritual soul path or advice from universe and spirit guides and God up above and Holy Spirit. Thank you so much and protection, guidance, and blessing, please, for Soul Tribe and anyone who needed to hear this message. Thank you so much. So I just really want to see quickly what is going, what energy. Soul Tribe, I've been running around the New York Fashion Week. Um, I also, because I really wanted to explore, we have to expand. We cannot be saying that we want to get out there and then we don't try we have to try and no one should be blocking you from from wanting to do what you want if you want to explore people around you or friends should be should be um supportive so you know soul tribe you have to do what you think is best for you so anyway this is why we are here in this journey we're trying to learn where do we go from here no one should be stopping you from from exploring or if you want to like you know as long as you don't harm anyone seriously so try take care of yourself let's go pile intuition so you're being called by your, your intuition deep knowing to to trust what you know if even if you do not understand so maybe if you feel called about a certain thing, people, situation, well, it's it's a message here, follow your inner compass because your soul knows something even if your heart and your mind cannot explain. Let's see, maybe it's time for you to change a job or if a job is not meant for you or if a toxic people, toxic friends no longer um, serves, serves you or the like something is so toxic and you need to move on from toxic job toxic people toxic situation toxic things you know it okay your soul knows it so ten of pentacles is all about traditional values family events getting to know people community this could mean like stability when it comes to a person to a certain connection with someone you want to meet each other or someone wants to offer you long-term relationship. This could also be business, a legacy, or someone wanting to introduce you towards the community or to to their family. So actually, Ten of Pentacles is a very wonderful energy of stability, abundance, and togetherness, or home, family, children. So there could be a masculine 
or this could be you trying to make things happen, trying to make your dreams become a reality, or there could be a specific person in your life, like a divine masculine or future spouse, future husband, like um, they could be creative, they could be like, um, like someone attractive, someone powerful, someone smart. Maybe this is the future husband or future spouse that you're manifesting in your life. And I do understand that you will have help from universe and destiny. Yeah, trying to find the opportunity to manifest blessings, to manifest a person in your life. Or for some of you, manifest dream job or money. But I think money is going to be pouring in your life pile. One money and opportunity is going to open up in your life it is also community so get out there and and see see i tell you for some of you who are manifesting a job a career or possibilities this is your time it's going to open up for you so you know if some things does not work for you anymore like past energies old energies it's time to declutter that you have to explore you have to expand you have to to get to know what's what's out there so you're going to find yourself because you have been trying to find this path but i am picking up that money there's a lot of pentacles here so like i said there's going to be money opportunities coming to you and going to shower in your life could be blessings as well was going to shower in your life in all shapes in all forms in all directions this is also a possibility of meeting a new love or finally meeting the one that's what i could understand so let's see let's see um yeah because this universe going to open doors opportunities in your life so um let's just not unsuccessful plans Maybe in the past or in the current situation, there's been an unsuccessful plans. Because like I said, because possibility, this universe trying to tell you it doesn't work with toxic people, places, situation. It wasn't meant for you because universe going to open you to something better. So trust the process. Trust that universe knows what they're doing. If you are someone thinking why it doesn't work with this job, with this person, with this you know like because it wasn't meant to be anymore you're meant to move on move forward fan roman celebration party so definitely you might be invited to a social event social gathering or community event but you know something you might not understand pal one but you're being called to to socialize, to explore, to get to know more but because this is might be what you wanted or this might be universe trying to tell you, you have to learn from this event, people, places, situation, romance, celebration, party. Maybe that's how you're going to meet your future spouse. So success. Oh my God, I love this. The astral house. Spirit guide says you will be successful. Don't do not get disappointed because you might have stumbled on closed doors. Success is going to open for you because universe are going to to lead you there. See, it? you got to learn to trust. And something about July. July is like summer months. Pig, beware of greed. Okay, so you might have stumbled on people who does not believe in you, who possibility maybe you connected with people who were like selfish but anyway this is like time to check ourselves like no one should be selfish to like like blocking you from achieving your dreams or blocking someone from making you happy or something like that so anyway it's a message here beware of toxic people place a situation victory in some endeavor okay well there's success and victory opening up in your life. Maybe it didn't work with that job, that person, the situation before, because it wasn't meant to be anymore. And then if this reminds me of a pathway, even if it's a letter V, wind chimes, peace and harmony. Find your Zen. Maybe this is also what you wanted to have in your life, peace and harmony. Because if you were trying to force yourself 
on some things and then it doesn't give you happiness anymore and you just know in your heart that something has to change so that's why universe says do not force anything that is not meant for you anymore do not even be squeezing yourself in a very tight box if that's not you anymore you gotta learn to grow and evolve and that's why your soul is trying to say you know you have to look for what makes you happy and peaceful and harmonious so uh, anyway if this is all about a love interest maybe you're connecting with someone who's very successful who could have blockages when it comes to ego for a while maybe they could be someone who's like you know uh currently going through like you know like a like they're, they're trying to cleanse their life from toxic people places situation as well so i am picking up like mirroring energies here because i feel like the success also is a mirror so if you're trying to bring success into each other's life if you are manifesting your future spouse let's find out more open intuition yeah i tell you you are pile intuition the third eye the third eye is open your third eye is open Follow your soul, follow your inner compass, trust your intuition. Or you could be connecting with someone who's also very intuitive and they know you, they can feel your energy, they know you're out there. And see, take risk. If adventure is calling you, excitement, whatever, it's time to take the plunge, the gamble, take a leap of faith, step out of your comfort zone. Like I said, if you're just going to be in a little tight box, you already outgrown it. So that's why universe is already trying to say, take risk, take action. Now is the time, take a leap of faith. Oh my God, step into the unknown. Exactly. Oh my God, I did not control this. I set the intention one minute and then, you know, I it wasn't turned up. So yeah, take risk, step into the unknown. Trust into the higher forces. So try, I'm not going to waste my breath and time if if these are all lies. But I'm just going to tell you, explore your ancestry, see? Because you are trying to find where you need to be. But you have to be strategic about it. You have to be smart about it. Or maybe if you are someone who made mistakes in the past, you have to learn how to be successful now. Because, you know, I am, it, this reminds me of checkers or chess. You have to learn to beat the obstacles, the blockages, or you have to be winning over your opponents. But, you know, you can't be like on that mode that you have to be competitive. But maybe in a way, Spirit Guide says in life, is life is a jungle. And but you have the message of victory and success. So this is what universe is trying to teach you right now. You need to be victorious. You cannot let anyone walk all over you and stop you from 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 your destiny, from what you want to do, from if you want to be a change maker, if you want to explore and find true love or find your happiness or dream job. So see, there's a message here for you. So I wish you were next to me. So if you are someone connecting with a specific love interest, you could be both feeling these emotions or exact feeling right now. I, you are wishing that you're right next to each other. I think about you all the time. So someone is thinking about you. You are in their thoughts. They cannot get you out. You cannot. They cannot get you off their mind. Our love is eternal. You might be connecting with a twin flame or a deeper soulmate connection i'm just going to throw it out there but someone really loves you and wanting to meet you in the physical or if you're already drawn to a specific person this person really wants to get to know you ask you out on a date meet you in the community and see possibilities like i could also sense some kind of luxury style but mostly, there's a lot of magic in your pile. Pile one, I'm going to tell you that. So anyway, wow. Spirit Guide says magic is very much alive in your energy. So you got to harness that beautiful 
blessings, beautiful magic to manifest what you want in your life. Possibilities and opportunities is going to open up for you or it's open now. Don't miss your chance. That's it. So, okay. Thank you very much. Spirit guys, let's go pile two. What do you need to know? Whether it's love, career, soul path, spiritual journey. I just want to see what is happening with your energy. This could be you connecting with your higher self. Learning how to meditate. Learning how to like really be in tune and, and be aligned with your higher self or universe. You know, your mind, soul, body, spirit. Maybe this has been your struggle to, to align with your higher self. So, you know, you got to learn to love you and your higher self. This is it. Don't make it so complicated. Nothing is so complicated. Sometimes human, we just want to be more complex, complicated when it's not supposed to be like that. Spirit guy says, breathe. Go back to the source. Basic. Like, you know, go back to the basic. Simplicity is you know there is luxury in simplicity or simply be like simplicity is beauty less is more i don't know minimalism let's see what's going on the moon something you know has to change in your life but this is also secrets secrets something unexpected something you do not know coming in your life it could be intuition as well your higher self is really wanting to connect with you, to help you like learn about your intuition, learn how to practice your intuition. Maybe this is your struggle. Your intuition is telling you something, but you do not trust your intuition. Like maybe you could be someone who's clairvoyant, but you are so scared to trust your intuition or your gut instinct. But you got to learn to align yourself because there's imbalance here. I could sense it. But you might also be someone like connecting with a specific person intuitively. Maybe there's mental telepathy, but you know, we're in the human world. We don't want to think like we're all insane, but there is some kind of emotional and spiritual connection here with a specific person. I tell you, it could be your twin flame or soulmate. You're trying to manifest this connection in physical reality, or you're trying to say to this specific person to choose you because you want to be with the right person for the right reason something like that and for true love if it's all about marriage then you want a love marriage you want this person to to be your forever but there could be some things in here in the physical world like blockages could be people, toxic situation, to third parties, distance. It could be anything, but it could be people as well. Maybe they were, you were in a toxic relationship in the past or they were in a toxic relationship, codependency, situationship. But anyways, Perry Guy says you got this. You got this, pile too. Because Queen of Pentacles is like a very privileged woman. You're going to meet someone who's going to make your wish and dreams come true. The Queen of Pentacles is almost like the Empress energy. She's calm, cool, and collected. So don't be angry. That's what Spirit Guide is trying to say. There could be some disappointments in your life because you are so afraid of the unknown and so afraid of the future. But, you know... Peace and kindness and gentleness and being kind to yourself is going to help you more attract positive energies, attract high vibration rather than being angry. You got to learn to forgive others who has hurt you and forgive yourself as well. Do not judge others. So, but anyway, you cannot please everyone. Do, Spirit guys is trying to say you cannot be seeking validation from others because you want to be happy. You're seeking by, by validation and you're trying to jump on the trend because others is doing it. No, you already know who you are. Maybe this is the message from your higher self that you know what you want. Not just because it was a trend or something like that, that you got to be jump. But Spirit guys says you... If you want to be different, you cannot just blend in the crowd. You have to be authentic. This is you. 
you gotta know what you want in order for you to be happy because if you do not know what you want then you're just going to be like spending your time effort energy you're going to be blending and pushing yourself and like you know like wanting to please others when in fact your main priority is you your happiness you need to make better choices in your life or if this is a a job maybe you are connect maybe you are in a toxic environment and spirit guide says why are you covering up your potential when in fact maybe you are undervalued underappreciated you can actually like you know be you have the the chance to be much more successful by yourself by your talents by your skills and find your luck somewhere else or find your good luck and find your hidden potentials rather than letting others dictate you from what you need to do or what you don't want to do you do not let others dictate you that's it pile two you know what you want you learn respect you how you you know how to learn to respect people but you also need to set your boundaries that's what i could understand so let's see um this is interesting younger man dealings or relationship with a younger man maybe you are dealing with drawn to a specific person who look younger than their age or they could be a younger man or they could be a new love caterpillar is all about change things will not always be this way a change is coming see i tell you you gotta put that change in your life you gotta learn to embrace that because if you're going to let others dictate you or you're just following and blending in the crowd nothing is you're just going to get stuck and going to be floating and lost in there so happiness see spirit guy says the astral house of happiness is going to open in your life or this is need this is something that you need to pursue now for you to be happy do things that make you happy do things that you know that your soul thinks that's going to make you happy and uh, anyway when it comes to a job when it comes to relationship when it comes to whatever is your style whatever makes you happy so you know be authentic no one should be telling you oh my god you're like this you're like that hey if they're not your type then maybe they're not really going to get along with you like you know vibration wise frequency wise or simply like style or like it, it vibe whether it's people places situation if you don't vibe together then it's never going to work whether it's a relationship or community or some things even if you're buying or shopping for stuff you gotta really feel cool to really have those unless if you have shopping problem but anyway spirit guys is trying to say be smart about it people places things situation something about august and i'm seeing like full moon here wow so definitely a message here change must happen in your life change for the better maybe you are fearful of change and you cannot be fearful of change so mountain road you are in the road to success and that's a beautiful message for you pile two because but you're scared to be you because your success is you how to be true to yourself how to be authentic and knowing what you want butterfly is about change again unbelievable a change for the better i tell you you are in the time for metamorphosis universe is trying to tell you new life new cycle new love new energies make over a brand new you declutter what you do not need anymore you know you cannot get stuck inside a cocoon this is also universe trying to tell you spread your wings and fly angel get to know people socialize and networking or something like that or find people people who can like um you know uplift you and inspire you wow there's a lot broken bridge unsuccessful outcome to a problem but you know this is what your negative thinking is because you're pessimistic and 
your possibility like thinking oh my god it didn't even happen yet and then you're already there thinking negative so change your perspective you just need to put um, uh, and practice a positive mindset seahorse family matters and if you're someone dealing with family issues or something about relationship in the past it doesn't work anymore you know what just learn to forgive and move forward in the journey see i could i could see broken bridge here something didn't work anymore maybe it's related to family or toxic relationship in the past you know we outgrow things people situations so your message here is a is a possibility of new life new love new cycle like embracing the new you refresh rejuvenate invigorate yourself okay so you're going to be much more inspired you're not meant to get stuck on old energies you're not meant to get stuck with old clothes that you don't need in your closet clean your closet declutter change your bed sheets wash why well, you know gotta clean your room you gotta function that's why i was picking up minimalist mindset because universe wants you to declutter negative thinking negative energies if it's not your energy don't take on it especially if you're an empath why are you taking other energies if it's so negative it's not your energy release that divine will i already told you let go of fear because you are someone who has fear of change. Universe trying to tell you it's going to be okay. You're not alone. And that's why I even trying to be doing this reading right now and be on this collective. Even if others going to say, oh, what am I doing? Oh, no one is going to be saying it's what we're doing now. Oh, there's a lot that came. Okay. Yeah, release. Release what you don't need anymore. Release toxic people, place a situation, release an ex, release negative thinking. It's an ex. Where there comes ending, comes new beginning. So what's your message right now? Pile two is inviting new energies, positive energies, wonderful energies. Like let go of the old, in with the new. But um, I mean, if it's friends, keep the good ones and eliminate the bad ones. Something like that. You know what time is it pile two you're very smart or you need to make smart choices in your life assimilate assimilate life experience yeah i tell you universe says what have you learned from the past you have learned from experience right because if you're not if you haven't learned from experience then you're just going to repeat the same old same old pattern over and over again until you're going to learn but i think you're going to like like learn from experience so you're not going to be going through a lot of blockages and then happiness happiness is coming your way pile two become more objective it's also a message of focus assert what you want go after your dreams and be smart with making life decisions the seat focus don't get distracted and be you be yourself stay authentic stay true to yourself that's your message here because like i said a while ago if you just keep blending on the crowd and it's not making you happy and you let others dictate and run your life and then you're like there like like a doormat oh my god spirit guy says your happiness relies on the time when you realize to be happy with yourself your own potential and you're digging in your own talents the see so oh my god i think the messages is very clear i mean i hope i i am explaining it to you can you hear me whisper your name if you are someone asking about a love interest they might be someone who loves your name or they whisper your name or they're sending you messages from a through a love song or through spirit guys or through spirit animals i can't not right now so someone could be trying to tell you that uh, they're very sorry because in this physical world they went through a lot of blockages and maybe they're they they are this is also a person here who's all negative thinking you could be 
dealing with a person who has blockages or personal issues with negative thinking as well. Even if they saying they can't, they, whatever, this is their fear. So you need to help each other. Or maybe this is you, you know, because of your negative thinking when universe trying to say, yes, you can. Don't be saying you, you cannot. Yes, you can. You can do it. You can be happy. Maybe universe trying to tell you, like to embrace change in your life and then this is what you're trying to say you can't you're afraid so this is something you need to change in your life i love you to the moon and back a million times so you could be someone connecting on the spiritual realm or the 5d when i say the 5d you're connecting with someone in the higher self but the problem here in the human world you need to be in the physical because someone loves you very much, but you need to manifest your physical connection, need to manifest the right person in your life. But someone here was stuck in some kind of situation like like um, of fear because they, they are fear of change. Maybe you're connecting with someone who is quite fearful to like walk away from what's comfortable to them, whether it's people, place, or situation. Or you as well, you're trying to be, you know, universe trying to message you to let go of toxic people, places and things. And you question that because you're not, you don't understand why you, but you know what? We just have to learn that universe and our guys have the best intentions for every one of us. And, and in order for you to pursue your happiness, Universe says there's something better for you. If you want old energies, old like clothes or something like that. Oh my God, you're like taking on too much. The clutter lighten up your load. You're taking on too much and then now you're thinking negative. So in order for you to manifest new energies, you have to declutter and cleanse and release negative energies, detoxify, purification, cleanse your energies, cleanse your space, cleanse your bedroom. But it's also more about cleansing your mind, soul and spirit. How are you going to do that? Prayer, contemplation, connecting with nature, aligning with your higher self and your spirit guides. So this could also be the imbalance could also be like happening with a specific person maybe not only you but also you're connecting with someone who's dealing with possibility like painful past that they need to release that maybe you're the one who needs to come into this person's life to help heal you or maybe a person needs to come in your life to help heal you and release you from the cocoon or release you from this darkness actually you're trying to find this way to like illuminate each other's path or this could be universe trying to say whatever you want whatever you need is on the other side of fear and that's love success and happiness and healing so may you find that pile too um you know but i mean in order to pursue balance growth and healing you need to not get stuck in your own darkness and you know you might be thinking like you're just stuck fighting your own demons you're actually not alone so anyway i hope i get your message right pile two i really try let's go pile three wow and i just saw three 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 on pile two but anyway let's go energy you could be someone trying to manifest self-care self-love and wonderful energies high vibration in your life you are someone who wants to be with high vibrational people places situation because you're trying to cleanse out what you don't need but i feel like you are someone trying to find your power to heal yourself and to heal others let's see what you need to hear when it comes to love career soul path spiritual journey yeah i tell you look the hermit mood, try to focus on yourself or you could be connecting with someone who's not talking to you because they're very elusive and mysterious or you could be someone trying to find the right person but you want to be with a good person, a good man, a good woman. But let's see, the Virgo is someone 
has a difficult and traumatic past. This is a person coming out of the darkness or still need to come out of the darkness. This is a person who has a past who like they need to like release it from from themselves, especially if it's binding them to a past that's really painful, difficult. It could be childhood issues, family issues, generational karmic pattern. Oh my God, two of cups. Okay, so this is a message. You want to find the right person. You want to be with the right person. Two of cups is like a very powerful connection, powerful love. This is a masculine trying to say, or your person, Paltry, trying to tell you that they want to connect with a person that is more deeper, deeper meaning, deeper substance, not just physical attraction. They are looking for emotional and spiritual deep connection, especially when it comes to relationship. That's why they're not even going to be bothering connecting with others. This, you are connecting with a person that's much more focused on their healing and their growth now, or this could be you. You're not dating a lot because you are manifesting your soulmate, the right person for you. So, and I'm okay with that, Pile 3. You're allowed to know who you want to be with. You're not picky. You're not high standard. You just really know what you want because the hermit, they could be like trying to find answers through contemplation, meditation, or their intuition. King of Cups. There's a very powerful message here of a masculine. Like wanting to understand you, wanting to tell you how they feel, wanting to express to you that they really love you forever and ever till the end of time. Maybe this is what you're manifesting. Someone intuitive, understanding, someone who's going to really love you. Because I could see a lot of water energy here, but also earth energy and air energy there's really masculine energy in your pile pile tree this could be a person who has trouble trying to express their feelings in the past because they could be someone who could be powerful and successful a good communicator but when it comes to like love and understanding and vocal maybe this has been their struggle to find relationship find love in their life but anyway, the more I'm looking at it, Spirit Guide says, because now they, you might be connecting with a person that they know that they need to be not just going for physical or public image or something like that. It has to be deeper, spiritual connection, emotional connection. So if it's all about a job, hmm. You could be someone going to be successful in the field of like healing. I don't know, medical field, spiritual healing, teaching, public communication, journaling. Anyway, you know, like in the field, like, because you can, you can feel others and Wow. So anyway, if it's all about your soul path, you are not going to stop. You're not going to let anybody stop you from pursuing what you want. You know, the king of king of source, disciplinarian, powerful leader, a man of honor. I feel like someone's trying to tell you, I'm not going to break my promise to you. If I break my promise to you in the past, I want you to know that. Like I'm going to try hard to make things right for both of us. Or maybe this is you trying to make things right for for your for yourself. Decision wise, relationship wise. Something like that. And then there's kings here. So that means the person has evolved. They're very intuitive now. They know what they want. Or you have grown. Or you might be connecting with a future spouse who's already grown and evolving and trying to find you in this lifetime. So anyway, or if it's a job, like I said, you want to find a job that calls to your soul, that calls to your spiritual path or soul path. Let's see. Wall, misunderstanding. Well, I, I kind of knew that maybe in the past, 
there was some kind of misunderstanding and wall and blockages and you've been dealing with this is this wall connecting with a person a dream a situation so what else pineapple reconciliation i tell you see someone's trying to tell you they want to make things right for you maybe this is a person you've connected in your past lives or maybe you already know this person and then now before in the past they weren't talking and then now they want to communicate with you they want to be much more expressive to you because because in the past they do not know how maybe this is a person you're connecting to who has struggles with emotions with expressing themselves maybe they express their emotions and love to you through actions more than words so let's but i think like that's what i could understand and then since you do not understand how they express and their love or their feelings or whatever or this could be you a time to express yourself this is it like you know you have to speak up step into your power something about november and i could see snow here the astral house of wealth is going to open for you maybe health good health is wealth or maybe wealth is also about realizing your own self-worth or wealth could be success or money as well wealth could be many things but it, it's blessings it's wonderful blessings going to shower and open in your life parrot someone will gossip all about your secrets be careful who you give your gossips to because not everyone has the best intentions for you maybe spirit guide says if you're planning to do something it's better that you keep your secrets you know you know who your trust trusted people are but you know if you are someone you know if you are being successful and that's how you're going to get more blockages and people who just want to gossip and put you down so be careful and like they should mind their own business mind their own lane and you cannot please everybody pile trade that's it you have to you you have to like just focus on you and if you need to work on your your issues we all have issues anyway we all make mistakes but some people they're strolls they're satyrs here it's non-believers trying to dethrone you trying to like talk shits about you and you don't want to be dealing with that because misery they're going to attract misery anyway and bad karma so you just have to to focus on you focus on your good deeds focus on your healing good vibrations good energy because light energy is going to attract more high vibration light energy and whoever is like manifesting your takedown or your bad energies towards you they, it's going to boomerang on them don't worry about that flute disappointment in a friend or lover i tell you you might you might be disappointed with friends but you cannot please everyone we are not everyone's cup of tea and that's okay focus on people who loves you focus on people who surround you like family or friends or or yourself or spirit guardians or universe or community who understands you because see others here they're just jealous and just toxic people because hurt people hurt people you understand because they're hurting that's why they want to come to to inflict implicate misery on others and we understand that and sometimes you feel obligated to to give them happiness but then it's already like making you drain your energy is so exhausted so you just don't have a choice now to release gossips release this bad juju around you bad energies bad people something that doesn't serve you anymore so see i tell you because you're manifesting good luck your good luck is going to change once you stay away from toxic situation toxic people they're they're draining your energy they're drugging you down you know friends who are good people you also know people who you know no matter what you do they're not going to be happy and then they like instead of giving you good luck and support and then they're 
trying to block you and gossip you and trying to find your weakness how to take you down be careful because some people who imitate as friends they're they're traitors you know that you know this this world is a jungle right now so you gotta be smart who is in your team so that's that's the main focus here to find your right people to find your own word to find your power so that's it so anyway let's find out more don't worry about others who does not understand you because that's not your worries anymore focus on your own healing focus on like you know where where you need to be like one step at a time one day at a time pile shield your energy look beneath the surface i already told you see spirit guy says you gotta learn to protect your energy from toxic people places situation and shield your energy create your boundaries create your own sacred space it's okay to say no to toxic people toxic situation toxic energies i feel like that's what the message here with for pile one two and three but anyway all the oracles and messages there's no repeating here i made sure of that but you know, I'm just going to say is that the energy is what we are picking up right now. Look, you are pile energy. And Spirit Guide says shield your energy. You want positive energy? Then you need to harness that with good thoughts, positive thoughts, wonderful people in your life. Why focus on gossips? Why focus on people who does not believe you? Forget them. You don't need to justify and validate yourself. You don't care whether you're successful or unhappy. They're actually much more unhappy if they're miserable people because they want to they want to see you miserable and you don't you're not going to allow that. Look, you're out of the cage. You are the key to your own happiness. Or you might meet someone who's going to help you release you from all this negativity i mean the key is here and then you're out of the cage and then there's love coming here for you like true love a wonderful person because the rose here signifies true love or self-worth or your beauty your beauty you're beautiful or maybe someone thinks you are their muse or maybe you're someone who does not realize your own beauty why are you going to be seeking validation from others from telling you like okay you're like this you're like that you know you're not going to be molding yourself to what others think because you're going to be confused like that listen to others who really matters to you like good family good people around you or god and universe don't listen to gossips Detox from this kind of people. Detox from negative people because they're jealous. That's what they are. They're haters. They're not happy with their life. Focus on higher truth. There you go. So universe wants you to be focusing more on like what's relevant in your life. Like your growth, your healing, your transformation. On the truth. Only the truth. Why believe on lies? Because this is what the haters, they trying to put hate and lies on you. When in fact, you know what you need to be fighting for. Focus on your truth, stand your ground, fight for it. And that's it. You know what you're fighting for. Take positive action. There you go. And you need to do something about it. But be careful too, because these gossips, these haters, they're on your back. And they really like i don't know why miserable going to be doing that but anyway see spirit guy says always cleanse your energy take positive action and you need to be much more focused more on good vibration and what makes you feel good because you're going to focus on people who does not know anything but hate misery and lies and drama stay away from drama pile three that's it because you know toxic people situation that's what they attract drama and then they want to give it to you when in fact it's okay to say no to drama but it's okay to say yes to more blessings and love and and kindness in your life it makes you miserable to be surrounded with 
with toxic people, places, and energy that drain you and ex ex exhausting to you. Our love will never cease to exist. So you might be connecting or manifesting someone. Or maybe someone wants to give you a message that our love will never fail to exist. Our love will never cease to exist. It's a message like, I will always love you. I'm here for you. I'm tired of running. There you go. I mean, you might be connecting with someone who, like, you know, in the past, who, didn't, who do not know what they want or something like that. But see, you're not really running away from problems. You just don't want drama and you just recognize that some things, if it's toxic people, places, situation, it does not work for you anymore. You're okay to say no. You're okay to move on and, and look for what makes you happy. Our paths will always reunite. So anyway, there's some message here that you might be connecting with someone who is a soulmate, who is connected to you in your past lives. Maybe this is destiny, like trying to tell you now, Pile 3, that you're destined for a specific person, place, a situation. Even though, like, you know, this reminds me of the red string of faith, like it's saying in here that you're connected to a special person. It don't matter if the thread has been tangling and whatever but your your thread has always been intact there's been an unbreakable bond like 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 a powerful bond that brings you together like magnetize you together so maybe in the past it was tangling and all over the place but there was this magical bond that brings you two together so even if like in the past you possibility like if there's distance between you or if you like you know connecting with someone who has um toxic connections in the past it don't matter universe is going to help both of you clear that because now is the time spirit guide says it's been a long time coming you and your person who is possibility like a fated meeting fated person destined person destined connection destined job something like that you universe is going to call you to they're going to put you in this path, whether this is coming towards a specific person, situation, a job, or something that you need to, to do, like a mission or a life goal or a life purpose. Universe, your guides, and your higher self is going to align you with that. That's the reason why, like, you know, you need the high vibration, you need power, you need high energy to align you with your purpose. Or if your purpose is to manifest healing, growth, balance, and future spouse or blessings in your life, good energy, good vibration, positivity is going to take you there. But gossiping and hate and lies, that's in the opposite spectrum. So let the miserable people be miserable on their own skin. But you already going to say no to misery and drama. So you're going to focus more on being a good person, be the best version of yourself and trying to attract the right people, right blessings in your life. That's all that matters, Pile 3. Don't even worry about what others has to say. As long as you know that you're doing the right thing, that you're not like instigating drama or conflict and lies to others, but you're allowed to fight for what you want. You are allowed to be a warrior. You're allowed to step up and put people in their place if they don't align with they don't align with your goals. If you know you want to like have truth and love and peace in your life and then someone is instigating conflict and triggering and chaos, you're allowed to tell them, "Hey, that should stop. That's not right." So, so see, you know what you're talking about. And you know what you want in your life, Pile 3, because you are someone who really want positive energy. You're a good person. I can see that. But since you could be an empath, a light worker, starseed or something like that, you know, these negative forces, negative energies always on your back, always coming on to you. Like you don't even know which battlefield you're going to be into when you're waking up in the morning. But Spirit Guide says, stand your ground. You know your truth. 
And I think I'm going to say this to you, Paltry. If you are drawn to my messages right now, and if you pick my Paltry, or if you are really like drawn in my collective, I go, I'm going to tell you, you're not, no matter who you are, we are here. Your community is here. We are your soul tribe. We are, we are here, spiritual warriors. If you are out there thinking like, oh my God, why you're so miserable and you do not know where you go from here. We are here as your community trying to tell you we support each other here. So thank you very much, my soul tribe. You're all not alone, soul tribe. I dedicated my life six years. It don't matter. What am I going to be doing? I'm going to be doing fashion makeup or going to be raving and ranting. I have never left you. I feel like you have to give me some more credit because no one is like, in this in this world of like trying to find truth i am telling you transparent and and i've never like put any fakery in this channel and in this collective so try whether you like it or you hate it but this is life you're going to be much more scared if all you ever see is you know like all polished because that's not right anymore. Nothing is what it seems in social media. But you have to honor and and love people who are really true. And like, you know, not just be polishing stuff. Because we have to be honest and real with each other here. So I can, if I, some things I do not know, soldier, I'm going to tell you I do not know. But but my, my guides always have our back. And universe always have our back. I'm going to tell you if you gravitated to a specific pile here, one, two, or three, or listen to everything, then there's a message for you here. Thank you, guys. Happy weekend. And this week, you know, this is going to be timeless pick a card anyway, but in this week right now, since it's September 8th, New York Fashion Week is, well, you know, I'm big into fashion too. Like, I'm a street style fashionista like i'm a mix and match fashionista i have secondhand items i have luxury items i explore and i go knick-knack items as well and i put two and two together and make it look like a billion bucks so and you know when it comes to style we all have to mix and match and that's what i'm trying to explore right now so tribe i'm trying to find ways so i can be a good like you know, I I can I can be like someone who knows what I'm talking about, something like that. If I don't have experience, if I, you know, if I don't know stuff, I can just be here and and keep saying I don't know, I don't know. So we we gotta learn to learn things, and you know what? We have to learn to network, to socialize as well, because now is the time. You know, if you are someone who's just working and sleeping and tomorrow is doom and gloom and another day, what life, what good, what is good with that? It's just you're living like a monotonous, robotic lifestyle. And that's not how life is all about. Like we also need to like follow our happiness, follow our soul. Because if you're just stuck in a situation that is same old, same old, and you're not happy there, and that's why we are here. We're trying to shed some light on each other's path that, hey, we can we can do this together. So thank you, guys. I love you all. And if you want to, like, you're curious with your certain situation, whatever, you know where to find me. You can email me, spiritualexplorer1111 at gmail.com if you want to do your updates or readings. I'm just here trying to give to you my services because my universe still allows me to do this. And, you know, so try, there's a lot more things to be doing right now instead of like overanalyzing, overthinking. But I know that for you in the seven continents or the rest of the world right now, I, I do hope you're going to find this message if you really really are confused so take care of you guys i love you and i'm going to sign off now and i'm going to be running around trying to attend this fashion thing just to like see what's out there so try um 
and i'm also trying to share to you like what i see because i'm your eyes and ears and also trying to gain some experience and meet new connections and network like people and that's what my uh my goal here so i don't understand why others going to be such haters and going to be blocking us and you know we just do what we gotta do soul tribe we're survivors anyway and take care of you hope you like the reading i am going to sign off now thank you and have a wonderful weekend bye